Hi, it's March 25th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton. I'm here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thank you for being here this week. Um, Treasury uh, yields and muni yields resumed their upward march. There was a pause in the previous week, but uh, starting midweek this week, they really surged again. Uh, a lot of talk from the Fed that interest rate hikes may be larger and faster than we had uh, previously anticipated. What were you hearing in the markets? Yeah, so, uh, you know, we're about a month in with the Russia-Ukraine crisis. Um, you know, really the markets have been volatile, uh, shaky, um, and you know, we, we've seen a sell-off in treasuries, we've seen a sell-off in munis. Um, you know, one number that, you know, we love to highlight on the show is the, the Lipper outflows. Um, we saw one and a half billion this week. Um, it's actually the 11th consecutive week and year to date, we're looking at about 20 billion of outflows. Kind of, you know, gives you an idea of, uh, you know, how much money is, um, you know, really coming out of these, uh, uh, these funds that have, you know, last year really saw a ton of inflows. Um, and again, treasuries are selling off, um, munis were selling off. We had, um, you know, Powell uh, earlier this week kind of mentioned the possibility um, of the 50 basis point uh, hike in the next meeting. And, uh, you know, after that is really when we saw, uh, you know, munis, I think were cut um, 12 basis points across the board on Tuesday, I believe. Um, and, you know, ever since then, it's just been uh, kind of constant cuts. One thing to keep an eye on is the fact that it's it's not necessarily uh, the same reaction across the entire yield curve, right? If you take a look at uh, relative performance on the long end, which is where mutual funds are typically most active, or at least the most important buyers, uh, we saw the muni treasury ratios move higher, uh, reaching 99% uh, the tax exempt to taxable yields uh, by Thursday morning, whereas the ratios didn't really move in the 10-year sector. So it was uh, just you know down, but moving in lockstep with treasury. So that really shows the impact of uh, that retail selling of mutual funds uh, dampening demand on the, the long end. And of course, issuers in the muni market with long dated, uh, very long term projects want that long end money. Uh, what kind of activity do you see in the uh, new issue market this week? Yeah, so uh, this week, we actually saw uh, just shy of $9 billion in the primary market. Um, some of the headline names were New York City GO. Uh, there was a Lamar uh, ISD in Texas, um, PSF guaranteed, and then the Chicago Transit Authority. And that kind of leads me into, you know, BAM's activity for this week, uh, where we insured uh, 18 series um, for about 330 million in insured par, um, 95 million uh, Jefferson Parish sewer district number one in Louisiana with Skifel, uh, you know, is a noteworthy BAM transaction. And um, again, feeding off of the CTA, uh, BAM actually insured uh, one whole maturity, the 2046 maturity, uh, which was about 94 million um, of the CTA, and that was led by uh, Cabrera. And one of those things we see uh, uh, um, underwriters in the muni market doing uh, very well and very frequently, which is matching uh, the structure of the transactions to where investor demand is. So, you know, out of a, a much larger issue, they found the insured demand in one maturity and, and, and concentrated that with, uh, with a significant uh, BAM uh, QSIP there. Um, also, of course, uh, worthy of mention, the Jefferson Parish transaction is a second one from Jefferson Parish. Uh, earlier this month, we saw um, $180 million from consolidated uh, sewer district number two. This is consolidated sewer district number one. Both of those transactions were BAM Green Star Green Bond transactions. So again, uh, finding demand from investors who are particularly interested in the uh, impact and green nature of the projects they're financing, um, making sure they're, they're aware of that going on. What, uh, what are you looking forward to this coming week? Yeah, so next week, uh, we're currently seeing about eight and a half billion in supply. Um, you know, again, the headline names, one billion uh, being issued by California Health Facilities and another billion by New York City Transitional Finance Authority. Um, and then, you know, as for BAM, we're currently looking to price, um, you know, nine series, 135 million in, in short par, some of the noteworthy names there, uh, $45 million Alabama State University with uh, Fraser Lanier, um, $33 million across two series of Montebello USD, um, that's in California, um, that's led by Raymond James. And uh, the last one I, I want to mention is a $21 million um, Alabama Southern Union State Community College, and that one will be led by Stiefel.
Great. And of course, uh, viewers uh, interested in the complete list of uh, new issue transactions BAM has approved for insurance can always visit our social media sites on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter on Monday. Uh, we publish a newsletter every Monday morning that contains that list. And then it's uh, posted uh, a little bit later Monday morning to the social media site so you can get the full information there. Thanks for being with us this week, David. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.